Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to format your research project. First, I would like to take note of the research project guidelines, which are available on the EAP homepage. On the second page, there are formatting requirements, and it would be good to take a look at those beforehand. Additionally, we are not going to cover all of the formatting for the research project because the research project proposal formatting video also has a lot of helpful information, including the cover page, header, paper size and margins, headings, and hanging indents. Today, we will be covering how to insert a table and page numbers, because those are different than the research project proposal. The first thing we'll do is insert a table of contents, and that will go after the abstract. So we want to write a title, table of contents, and then we go to insert, scroll down, and find table of contents, and we want the one with numbers. and it will appear. There's a refresh button that you need to click every time you update. For example, if I make the introduction now a heading, I need to scroll up and refresh to see the introduction now added. Now, the table of contents should not be a header. It should be normal text, size 18. If we turned it into a header and refreshed, it would show up. But we do not want the table of contents abstract title or any other titles to be there. So we will make sure that our table of contents heading is just size 18 bold normal text. The same applies to the abstract and the title cover page. That should all be normal text. And all the following headings after the table of contents will be heading one or heading two if you have subsections. And we must always remember to refresh that after we do any updates. It will not refresh on its own. Regarding page numbers, we do not want page numbers on the first cover page, the abstract, or table of contents page. So we will need to insert a section break. And we want to insert a section break right after the table of contents that makes a new page. So we would go to insert section break with a new page. Now, those won't be shown normally. You have to go view and click show section breaks, and then it will show you the line that's a section break. And you can hide those section breaks again by clicking view and then unticking show section breaks. There are two ways to insert page numbers, and the first would be to click insert page numbers and then more options, and you get to this page here, this part. But I'm actually going to click on the footer and deselect link to previous and then click options page numbers i'm going to make sure that it's this section section two or this section on not whole document i want it to be the footer show on first page and start at one i'm going to click centered so it's centered now and then i'm going to scroll up and make sure that the table of contents page and the previous pages don't have page numbers and they don't so it worked I also want to make sure that my header is only starting, so I'm going to deselect link to previous in the header to make sure it starts in the introduction only. Don't forget to check out the research project proposal formatting video for the other formatting tools. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.